The tradition of decorating eggs in all those glorious colors dates back to ancient times when it was a way to represent and worship the sun. But today there's all sorts of variations. The Russian Fabergé, the Ukrainian Pesanke, and there's mine. Now I just got done decorating some Easter eggs, but I've got some leftovers. And in the spirit of Easter, I'd like to make some egg dishes. Yes, I love eggs. They're extremely versatile, and there's many, many things you can do with them. Eggs and Easter are like uh, frick and frack, click and clack, tick and tack. And it actually goes back from before the Christian times. Well, I think since ancient times, you know, eggs have been a symbol of fertility, of rebirth a renewal, mm -hmm. and so when we decorate the eggs these days, we use all these, you know, yellows, greens, blues, all these pretty colors that would uh, represent nature. Easter is the most important holiday on the, on the Christian calendar, yet it was named after a pagan goddess. Yes, that's right. It was named after Estra, a pagan uh, goddess, but she was the goddess of spring and fertility. What are we going to do first? First, I think I'm just gonna do the basic, basic omelet. This egg dish is a great uh, brunch menu item. Actually, more people go out for Easter brunch, or at least have Easter brunch, than Easter dinner. Yeah, that's, it was always a bigger tradition in my family to uh, have, the, have the brunch. So I'm just going to whip up the eggs here. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little salt, some red peppers, some spinach, and then I'm gonna add the egg. And I'm gonna add in some ham, some goat cheese. This is where I always mess up. This don't. Oh, okay. The hard part is flipping it onto the plate. It's actually ah. the hardest part of making the omelet. Mm-hmm. So for our second dish, the first component is grilled leeks. This is a seasonal uh, vegetable. Yeah, this right? is very seasonal. It's a springtime thing. I like to put a little bit of breadcrumbs on top. I have a hard-boiled egg here. This is a, a grater. Okay. And so I'm just going to take... Interesting. I've never it. thought to do that with a hard-boiled egg. And there you I go. love it. That's I love it. You surprised way. me. I was like, hey, you know, wh wh where's our egg? This looks healthy. The egg whites are are very, very mm. healthy. Mm. The next dish is the one that takes a little more effort. It uh, is poached eggs. You start with some water that you want to have just under a boil, and you want to add some vinegar to your water. OK. You want to break eggs into these to little cups. The egg is the symbol of rebirth. And a, another Christian symbol is the yolk is, is Jesus. The shell is the tomb. It's the tomb of Jesus, right. And you crack it open, and it's rebirth, and now you, it's Easter time. On the side here, I have soft polenta. These are shiitake mushrooms. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of the, of the mushroom polenta, uh -huh. some tomato sauce, which will add to the flavor and also adds a, a nice color. And if you want to garnish it on top, you okay. want to finish it with a little Parmesan cheese and a little parsley. I feel like we've done good. We've made our eggs. We made them all different ways. Yep. And got the poached now. Oh, I love it with the polenta. That's good, right? You get the and crispy the mushrooms. Yeah. Mwah. All right. It's holiday foods, eggs. <laughs>